Sensors which capture 3D information provide data for a variety of tasks. Each application may have different requirements relating to range, acquisition speed, and resolution. As a result, there are a variety of proposed solutions to meet these task-specific requirements. However, the imaging capabilities of these solutions are fundamentally limited by the measurement signal-to-noise ratio, or SNR, that can be achieved. In this paper, we seek to alleviate these limitations by estimating a 3D representation of a scene from measurements containing an average of only one or fewer photons per pixel from a pulsed illumination source. We propose data-driven methods that take as input the time of flight of arriving photons recorded for each spatial position and a regular intensity image, and estimate the 3D geometry. We consider two forms of input, noisy measurements from single photon avalanche diodes, or SPADs, and a high quality intensity image. A SPAD detects the spatial position and time of flight for individual photon events. The detected events are either a response to the pulsed source sent into the scene, photons due to ambient sources, or dark noise generated by the device. We propose three variants of a convolutional neural network, or CNN, to model the full pipeline for depth estimation from raw measurements. In the first case, the SPAD measurements alone are passed into the CNN as input. The network processes the data at multiple resolutions using 3D convolutional layers and estimates the output depth. In the second case, an intensity image is also input to the network and combined with features from the SPAD measurements, resulting in improved denoising performance. Finally, we introduce a method for joint denoising and upsampling guided by the intensity image. The complete denoising and upsampling network can be trained end-to-end. -end. To evaluate the CNN architecture, we simulate SPAD measurements based on the Middlebury dataset and compare our results to other heuristic approaches for low-flux depth estimation. Shown here is the output of the CNN when provided the simulated SPAD measurements and intensity image as input. The method better recovers depth discontinuities and fine structures compared to state-of-the-art approaches. In particular, notice that depth discontinuities are accurately recovered in our approach, but smoothed out by the results reported by Rapp and Goyal. Our prototype system consists of two modules, one to control the illumination and another for the sensors. The two modules are arranged such that a single vertical scan line is simultaneously illuminated and imaged by the system. The illumination optics consist of a pulsed picosecond laser, a cylindrical lens to distribute light along a line, and additional optics that determine the size of the scan line. A galvo mirror controls the lateral position of this line within the scene. The light reflecting back in response to the illumination pulse is collected in another optical path and directed to the linear SPAD array. A wavelength-dependent beam splitter sends the ambient response of the scene to a conventional computer vision camera. Using a second galvo mirror, the SPAD array is scanned together with the laser line. Here we show the prototype system in action. While scanning under ambient light, the vertical scan line is too dim to observe visually. This video sequence shows the same scanning procedure with the lights off. Measurements are captured at 20 frames per second. This high speed video sequence clearly shows the scanning path of the laser. We test the performance of the hardware prototype and algorithm by acquiring a variety of example scenes. This scene of a styrofoam ball was captured under room lighting. The noisy SPAD measurements capture photons from both ambient and laser light sources with less than one signal photon detection per spatial position on average. Our reconstruction results show superior performance over both conventional log-matched filtering and Rapp and Goyal's method. Our depth estimates with and without the intensity image produce high-quality reconstruction results. Guided upsampling further improves the density of the reconstructed point cloud at the cost of introducing floating depth values near depth discontinuities. This scene was captured at a lower frame rate of 5 Hz to increase the number of detected photons at ranges up to 4 meters. Here is the reconstructed 3D geometry. Our approach accurately resolves the geometry of the person walking through the hallway. This scene of a person walking through a kitchen has four distinct depth planes. 
The reconstructions accurately recover the depth of the individual planes and recover the geometry of the person walking through the scene. Note that the black paper towel dispenser in the background reflects few laser photons and all methods fail to recover its geometry. We also tested the imaging capabilities outdoors in the presence of indirect sunlight, where the number of detected ambient photons was significantly increased. Due to sensor saturation, the number of signal and ambient detections cannot be accurately reported. Our reconstruction algorithm is capable of recovering the geometry even under this harsh setting. Here's another example of a ball rolling down a set of steps. Once again, our CNN architecture demonstrates the capability of 3D sensing under extreme low signal conditions. The proposed algorithms for depth estimation are equally applicable to other time-of-flight imaging systems and may help to improve the maximum range, acquisition speed, and resolution of such systems by drastically reducing the measurement SNR required to estimate depth.